Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking with another review. This one is on a recently acquired Sig Sauer uh, 1911 Emperor Scorpion. This is one that actually my dad purchased uh, when Field & Stream had a couple sales uh, just after Thanksgiving. So um, yeah, that was a decent time to pick this up because this actually retails for $1,234 and he was able to pick it up for just under a grand or $999. But uh, you can find them on Buds for around $1,050 or so. So again, that $1,234, that's just the MSRP street price is uh, significantly less than that. But anyway, we'll just start off with the content. So it comes with this uh, kind of hard uh, box, which is uh, nice, but I don't know, maybe you want to invest in some different one more uh, custom with what you're going to be running it for. But this is nice that they do include this. Not bad at all. It is pre-cut anyway. But yeah, uh, here it is. And uh, just talking about the contents, obviously the, uh, the 1911 with one mag already inserted and then an extra mag. These are eight round mags. And then of course, to complete your cable lock collection, you have uh, another one from Six Hour and then as well, uh, some oil there. So yeah, that's nice. Go ahead and take this out. Leave one mag in. All right, and here it is. And I guess to make this a uh, valid review, I guess we should just go over some specs. Um, so yeah, starting off with the weight, it weighs 41.6 ounces. It has a height of five and a half inches. And this is the full length uh, with a five inch barrel. And the length is 8.7 inches. It being the five inch barrel, uh, you, it is chambered in 45 auto. And as well, you get a Picatinny rail here, which is very nice. I don't think it's bad to mention that it certainly looks really, really good. Uh, hopefully some of the video can uh, do that justice, but it actually does look much, much better in person. I would describe this color as being kind of like the upper receiver on a uh, scar. It's just a very, very beautiful bronze. Can be a little shiny and reflective like that, but then this beautiful matte here. And it does not scratch easy too. It's actually a very, very tough finish, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, anyway, I guess we'll kind of go over some impressions. Actually, one thing I want to mention is the night sights here, the tritium sights. Absolutely love these sights. I've uh, seen these before. The Trigicon tritium sights on the uh, Nighthawk I reviewed a while ago on that 1911, but yeah, seeing it here, very, very nice. This is actually glowing a lot brighter, probably because it's newer, um, but yeah, very nice. The sight radius is six and a half inches, so it's just very easy to get a consistent uh, lineup of your target, so it looks very good. I'm gonna have to show you guys some close-ups so you guys can see what that looks like for yourselves. By the way, kind of ran over everything I wanted to uh, that I jotted down, so I guess I'll just talk about overall feeling of it. Uh, yeah, the uh, flared magwell makes for some nice uh, quicker changes, which is kind of nice, but overall feeling uh, flat here. But yeah, it fits my hand very well. Uh, of the different uh, size shooters have shot this and no complaints. Everyone kind of just likes the way it feels. I wouldn't say this 1911 fits like a glove, like maybe an A1 M 1911 would or something like that, but it is definitely a uh, modern take on a 1911, which is really, really cool. I've always been a fan of uh, that being the Picatinny rail and all that stuff and just the look of it. I love the color with the black accents. The beaver tail here just feels very, very nice. The uh, hourglass looking trigger and the uh, skeletonized hammer, very, very great appealing look looking uh, handgun. Now, uh, one thing to mention about the trigger is as these really, really sharp serrations, so just be ready for it when you're uh, pulling the trigger, just be sure to get a nice flat landing on that, then pull. If you're just barely on the edge of it, trying to get like some kind of feather trigger or whatever, uh, it might kind of catch you off guard on the recoil. So yeah, it does have some sharp, uh, sharp serrations. If you shoot with the gloves, no problem, or just make sure you're flat on there and no problem. Uh, I probably am the only one to complain about that so far with all those shooters, nobody really cares. But yeah, maybe because I'm just too careful right on the side. So just be sure you're flat there. And no problem, but it is very, very appealing. Also, sharp serrations here, uh, which are just very, very nice and grippy. I love that. They uh, feel fantastic. Um, and also, these uh, these side pistol grips here are uh, just so textured in a way that it's just not going anywhere. So very, very solid in the hand, uh, even recoiling that 45. It is uh, just super, super confident. Uh, ambidextrous safety. Go ahead and rack this back. Make sure it's clear. But yeah, ambidextrous safety, I wouldn't need that because I am right-handed, but for some reason, I just love seeing it. So yeah, love it when I uh, when it's there. But anyway, very, very nice. And then the trigger itself, again, make sure it's clear, is uh, I'm not sure on the weight, but super, super clean. It has that little bit of take up that you see there, hits that definitive wall, and just super, super crisp. Um, you guys, that might have been a little bit out of frame there, put it back. But yeah, just very, very small take up there, very, very precise, and then just so clean. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. I have shot the, uh, like I've said, the uh, Nighthawks, which uh, are significantly more expensive than this. And honestly, I love them both. Um, this is, you know, for a thousand dollars for what my dad paid for it. 
is, I think, a great, great value. It's not a custom 1911 like you would get from Nighthawk or something like that, but the performance of this, um, I have some shooting demonstrations. We didn't really go for an accuracy test because we probably wouldn't have done the pistol any justice, but just talking about the feeling of it, just enjoying it, and when you do your part, line up the sights right, which are easy with these uh, sights, when you do your part, it is uh, right on. So anyway, have some uh, shooting demonstrations. We'll play, and uh, if I have uh, enough to make a whole segment of that, and then I'll wrap it up. A little bit of old and new. 1911s. Alright guys, so that's about it for this review. Um, definitely more videos to come in the future, I just want to get the review out of the way. But uh, yeah, for those random plinking range days that I'll be making more videos on, expect to see this in the not too distant future again. Anyway, that does it for this review. Thanks for watching and have a great day.